now we'll make a definition if x is a metric space then script c of x will denote the set of all complex valued functions so whenever we talk about complex valued functions of course real values can also be treated okay complex valued continuous bounded functions with domain x okay here uh, when x is compact if x is compact we are talking about complex valued functions so the functions will end up in some euclidean space there compact means closed uh, like uh, continuous image of a compact set is compact which is closed and bounded okay so in this case bounded is a redundant condition whenever your x is compact it will be simply bounded okay so in this case you can say that c of x is the set of complex valued continuous functions if you do not specify continuous functions then boundedness will not come since it is compact valued and continuous it they will be bounded also okay now we associate with each f in the script c of x its supremum norm that is norm of f is supremum of f of x for all x and x okay since f is assumed to be bounded this means that norm of f is smaller than infinite okay and observe norm of f is 0 if and only if f of x is 0 for all x in x okay and uh, norm of f plus h is supremum of x in x such that f of x plus h of x then this will get split into supremum of x in x such that f of x plus supremum over x in x of h of x so this is nothing but norm f plus norm h okay so we were able to observe something that define a distance between f and g in c of x to be norm of f minus g so these two conditions are more than enough to verify the remaining properties to be a metric okay then our c of x with this distance function f minus g is a metric space so with which if we have to rephrase one of the theorem that we have uh, discussed before that would be a sequence fn converges to f with respect to metric of c of x if and only if fn converges to f 
uniformly on x okay so if the convergence has to happen with respect to the metric then it should be uniformly convergent on x so based on this we can very well call the closed subset of this c of x to be uniformly closed and the closure is uniformly closure and so on now we shall present a theorem that says C of x with the supremum metric is a complete metric space. Now that we have established this is a metric space, now in order to justify it as a complete metric space, we should take some Cauchy sequence and we will have to prove that that Cauchy sequence converges. Okay, for that purpose, we are taking an arbitrary Cauchy sequence in script C of X. Okay, this means that since it is Cauchy, what does it mean? Then, for any epsilon positive, there exist n and n such that norm of fn minus fm is less than epsilon for n bigger than or equals n and m bigger than or equals n. Okay. Now, we are able to see that this function f. <coughs> so, if this condition satisfies, then what happens? fn converges uniformly to f on x ok since fn is a sequence of continuous functions which converges uniformly to f we can conclude that f is continuous on x now if a function has to be a member of the c of x it should be what complex valued continuous and bounded now that we have proved uh, it is continuous complex valued is inbuilt now we just have to prove it is continuous right sorry it is bounded right ok uh, since there is an n such that absolute of fn of x minus f would be less than 1 for all x in x Okay, the thing is that in particular I have chosen epsilon to be 1. Okay, and uh, from here we are writing uh, when m is going to infinite, this is what we have. Now I need to prove my f is bounded. Okay, maybe I shall write this as uh, f minus fn of x. Okay, f of x minus fn of x. So from here I am able to see that my f is bounded since fn is bounded so we just have proved that f is a member of the script c of x and now since fn converges to f uniformly on x we are able to see that norm fn minus f goes to 0 as n approaches to infinity. And this just proved the convergence of the Scotchy sequence in C of x. So, this proves 
the script is efx is a complete metric space this completes the proof thank you